Viewers at home, you are welcome to my presentation on ISC 500 Audit Evidence. If you are just coming across this YouTube channel for the first time, or if you have not subscribed in the past, please click the red subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell icon so that you don't miss my upcoming videos. If you are a returning subscriber, I say thank you and God bless you. Auditors relies on information obtained in the course of his audit, informing an opinion on the true and fair view of the financial statements. Those information obtained upon which audit opinion was formed, that those information are called audit evidence. Audit evidence are the information obtained by the auditors during the course of his audit on which he bases his opinion on the financial statements. Remember, I've told you that auditors rely on the information obtained in the course of his audit to form his opinion on the true and fair view of the financial statements. So those information obtained by the auditor in the course of his audit to form or upon which he bases his opinion on the true and fair view of the financial statements, those information are said to be audit evidence. Sources of audit evidence. Sources of audit evidence. I'm going to categorize the source of audit evidence into two. Number one, we have the internal source. Internal source of audit evidence. And we also have external source of audit evidence. So, what do we mean by internal source of internal source of audit evidence? Internal source of audit evidence are the audit evidence obtained by the auditor within the same organization. Those audit evidence obtained by the auditor in the company he audits, those evidence are said to be the internal source. So, internal source of audit evidence include Number one, we have the management. The management and staff of the organization. The management and staff of the organization. Number two, we have the accounting system and their basic uh, documentation. The accounting system and their basic documentation. And number three, we have the enterprise tangible assets. The tangible assets of the company. Or enterprise. So, these and many others constitute the internal source of audit evidence. So, what are the external source? Number two, external source of audit evidence. The external source is superior to internal source. Those audit evidence obtained outside the company that is being audited, those audit evidence are said to be audit evidence that arise from the external source. Audit evidence gather outside the organization. The external source of audit evidence include number one, we have the suppliers. The sup 
suppliers. Number two, you may have the customers of that entity. You may have the customers. Number three, we may have the legal advisors. Legal advisors. Banks. Insurance companies. Insurance company. ETC. This are the audit evidence that arise from external source. Number four, the consistency of all audit evidence obtained. The consistency of all all evidence obtained. I S E. 500 states that the objective of of the auditor is to obtain sufficient appropriate audit evidence to be able to draw reasonable conclusions on which to base the auditor's opinion. In accordance with international standard on audit 500, it states that the objective of the auditor is to obtain sufficient appropriate audit evidence to be able to draw reasonable conclusions on which to base the auditor's opinion. So, what do we mean by sufficient audit evidence and appropriate audit evidence in line with this context? Sufficient evidence Evidence, confident evidence relates to the quantity. When something is sufficient, that means you are referring to the quantity. The quantity of evidence gathered, that is the meaning of sufficient evidence. That is, it relates to the quantity of evidence gathered. Where the risk of material misstatement is very high, greater audit evidence will be required. If the risk of material misstatement, if that risk is very high, auditor will be required to gather a greater audit evidence, Great, gather sufficient audit evidence. I'm telling you that sufficient audit evidence means the quantity of the evidence gathered. Then the appropriate evidence. Now, what do we mean by appropriate? Appropriate evidence. Appropriate evidence relates to the quality of evidence. Appropriate. That is quality. Appropriate. The right. The quality of the audit evidence. That is the meaning of appropriate evidence. It relates to the quality of evidence. ISA 500 states that the evidence must be relevant and reliable. Appropriate all evidence are audit evidence that are relevant and at the same time they are reliable. For an audit evidence to be appropriate, it must be relevant and reliable. Methods 
of obtaining audit evidence methods of obtaining audit evidence number one method is inquiry inquiry to inquire about something is to seek for information from the person who has the knowledge of that thing. Therefore, inquiry consists of seeking information of knowledgeable person. When you seek information of a knowledgeable person, those information may be a financial information and it may not be financial information. And the information may be seek within the organization or outside that organization. Therefore, inquiry consists of seeking information of a knowledgeable person, both financial and non-financial, within or outside the entity. Seeking information of a knowledgeable person both financial and non-financial within or outside the entity. Number two, we have observation. Observation. Observation, when you observe something, it involves looking at the procedure or processes performed by others. Observation, to observe. Observation, it means looking at a procedure or process performed by others. When you look at the procedures or processes performed by the other people, so that you'll be able to imitate them, that is observation. Number three is inspection. Inspection. Inspection is the examination, that is to inspect something. To inspect something means to examine that thing. Therefore, inspection, inspection is the examination of records, documents, or tangible assets. When you examine the documents, when you examine the records, you are examining the asset register of that entity. That process is said to be inspection. So, it's one of the methods you auditor use to obtain their evidence. Inspection may examination of records, documents, or tangible assets. Number four method through which auditor may obtain their evidence is recalculation. To recalculate. That is what have been computed before. You want to confirm the accuracy of the calculation. You want to confirm the or uh, ascertain the arithmetic accuracy of what has been done, that is, of the earlier computation. Therefore, recalculation involves checking the arithmetic accuracy of source documents and accounting records. When you check the arithmetic accuracy, of the source document and accounting records. That is recalculation. Number five, we have reperformance. Reperformance. Reperformance is the independent execution of the procedures or control that were originally performed. As part of the entity's internal control, the independent executions of the procedures or controls that were originally performed as part of the entity internal control. Number six, we have external confirmation. External confirmation external confirmation 
is the audit evidence obtained as a direct written response to the auditor from a third party. The audit evidence obtained by an auditor from the third party is said to be the external confirmation. External confirmation is usually a form of written response by the third party to the auditors. That is why I say is an audit evidence obtained as a direct written response to the auditor from the third party. Number seven, we have the analytical procedure. Analytical procedure. Analytical procedure as a source of audit evidence will be examined in a separate video. So I'm not going to say much about that here in this video. So this is where I'm going to stop this very presentation on audit evidence. Further lecture on audit evidence will be examined on a separate video. If you are just if you have not subscribed, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Easy come.